In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us on into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who make your people partakers in your redemption, grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrections of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla. Because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome, he went to visit them. And because he practiced the same trade, he stayed with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. For every Sabbath, he entered into discussions in the synagogue attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. He left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue. Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord along with his entire household, and many of the Corinthians who had heard, believed, and were baptized. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Alleluia, 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 
I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you, and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us, A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father, so they said, what is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they had wanted to ask him. So he said to them, are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while and you will not see me. And again, a little while and you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices, you will grieve, but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus says at the end of today's gospel, your grief will become joy. The time of grief for the disciples was during the passion and death of Jesus, but they became joyful when they witnessed the risen Christ. The time of grief for Martha and Mary was when their brother, Lazarus died and buried in the tomb. But grief turned into joy when Jesus resurrected Lazarus. Jesus can turn sorrow into joy. During, during the difficult times, like the coronavirus pandemic, we might lose focus on our priorities, or we might push Jesus off to the side. Some of us fall into discouragement or depressions, which is very easy to do. We know and understand that in our lives, there are moments of ups and downs. There is a time of tears and laughter, a time of sorrow and joy, a time of desolation and consolation. So when things go well, let us praise and show gratitude to God. When things do not go as planned, let us cling on to God and place our complete trust in Him and have a conviction that there is light at the end of the tunnel. My dear friends, our grief will become joy only when Christ remains in our hearts. When we have Christ, we have everything even when we don't have much in the material things. On the other hand, when we lose Christ, we lose all, even when we have everything in this world. When we have Christ, we are complete, like a circle. When we don't have Christ, no matter what we do, 
or how we try, there won't be a circle. May we always keep Christ in our hearts. Amen. Let us offer a prayer to our Heavenly Father. For all members of the Church, may the Holy Spirit embolden us to bear joyful witness to the saving power of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who govern, may Jesus' example of compassionate and just service inspire them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the oppressed, exploited and voiceless, especially the victims of human trafficking. May God comfort them and lead them out of their affliction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who are afflicted with the coronavirus and any other disease, physical or mental, may God bring them comfort and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, May our shared commitment to being witnesses of Christ's love inspire us to work together, pray for one another, and to forgive one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for those special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, may we lift them up to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly offer these prayers to you, and we ask you to answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for your goodness we have received. The wine we offer you, put the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice of your hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offering, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may conform to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink for me. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, and for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you had held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, and his brother, Bishop, Timothy and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, Saint Norbert, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be saved. <laughs> Let's pray together the prayer of the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us pray together the prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits, who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.